Hello, this is Chef John from FoodWishes.com with There's Nothing in the House Salmon Cakes with Creamy Corn Relish. I didn't have anything in the house, so I decided to uh, see what I could come up with. I had a couple 7.5 ounce cans of Trader Joe's Red Salmon, which I really like, and I went ahead and I crushed that up with a fork. Now, you can eat everything in canned salmon, even the bones. But I like to take out the giant chunks of vertebrae if I find them just, you know, on principle. All right, so I'm going to crush that with a fork, and that is going to be the base for my salmon cakes. All right, that's good enough. All right, to that we're going to add some capers. All right, so I had 43 capers. You're going to chop those up, not too fine, just roughly chop them. A clove of garlic crushed, some black pepper to taste. Now salt's a little tricky. I'm going to go with about a half a teaspoon. It's tough to salt these after, so you may want to like cook a little piece and taste it. All right, I'm going to put in a half a teaspoon of tarragon mustard. You can find that. It's in the store. Come on. You probably walk by it every time. If you can't find it, just use Dijon, and you can chop up some fresh tarragon. One egg, the juice of half a lemon, and a third of a cup of breadcrumbs. And of course, as always, the uh, ingredients will be on the website, foodwishes.com. Now, you could form these now if you wanted to, but I'm not going to. I like to let it sit in the fridge for about a half hour. The breadcrumbs will kind of hydrate, and they'll be much easier to form and stay together much better. Now, I didn't have anything in the house, so I looked in the freezer. I had some sweet corn. I said, I'm going to make a creamy corn relish. So I sauteed some corn in a little bit of olive oil. Medium heat is fine for this all the way through. I put the juice of half a lemon, some salt, and some hot pepper flakes. By the way, if I had stuff in the house, I would have like fresh pepper like jalapeno or, you know, Fresno chilies, but the red pepper flakes were great. And I just wanted to caramelize that till the corn got a little sweet. The sugars in the in the uh, lemon juice started to caramelize just slightly. Then, one thing I did have in the house was some creme fraiche. I showed you how to make that the other day, by the way. You can use cream, you can use milk, you can use sour cream. Although sour cream can curdle, so uh, the creme fraiche or the heavy cream, probably a better idea. And we're done with the corn relish. Set it aside. So our salmon mixture is coming out of the fridge. I just divide it like that. It is much easier to work with. I'm going to form four nice big patties. So I have a little bit of breadcrumb on the plate. You form it. You put a little breadcrumb on top. And that's basically it. Very simple operation. I'm going to fry that in just a little bit of vegetable oil or a little bit of olive oil. About five minutes per side. Now while those cook, before I turn them, I got five minutes here. I'm going to make my sauce, which is another half a teaspoon of the tarragon mustard. You can find that. I know you're like, oh, where am I going to get tarragon mustard? At the store. Go to the nice store with the, the expensive looking cars in the parking lot. And they have tarragon mustard. Or like I said, just get some regular fresh tarragon, chop it up. Spoon of that creme fraiche. All right, a little bit of salt. Some lemon juice. And that makes just a really easy kind of herby drizzle to put on these salmon cakes. See, I didn't have anything in the house, but I still came up with something here. So you can always find something to cook, as long as you got stuff in the pantry or the freezer. All right, so those went about five minutes per side. They're nice and golden. Remember, the salmon's already cooked, so you're just warming those through, getting a crispy crust. All right, spoon of my corn relish, that delicious salmon cake on top. And to finish it all off, that drizzle of the herb and the creme fraiche and the mustard and the lemon juice. You could even use a tartar sauce on there if you want. I garnish with a couple oil-cured olives just for color and because I had them. I put a little sprinkle of uh, cayenne, a little more red pepper on top, just, you know, for presentation. That is a great combination of flavors. you got the sweet corn, the little bit of caramelized lemon on there, the chili flake heats it up, the creme fraiche smooths it out, cools it down, gives it a little tangy aftertaste, uh, the salmon cake on top. So give that a try. And never, never look at the pantry and say, hey, I got nothing. What am I going to do? I, could be I better go out and get a pizza. No. Look around. You can find something. All right. So anyway, I hope you give that a try. Go to the site. All the ingredients are there. And as always, enjoy. Enjoy.